Hi everyone, welcome to our Laravel REST API development tutorial part 6. In this tutorial, we are going to implement register, profile, viewing and logout API. So let's dive into this. So first we will create uh, a controller uh, route here, register and for register we will create actually registration controller. This PR design make controller register controller and we can also actually use the same controller for all but it's actually it's better to use separate for separate parts so we have created register controller and in the register controller let's just copy the same thing whatever in login controller just copy same thing and paste it here so just name it register controller so and instead of login just write it to register and definitely we'll use auth repository here also use response rate as it is perfect and so for register we'll create actually a new method for like register instead of login so currently there is no register method in this auth repository let's create one here so what it will be look like it will be same as a uh, look like login so let's do that so let's just copy this login from here and paste it here instead of login just name it register as it's auth repository so it's uh, it's it's easy like look like this okay so um so we're creating new user right and in the data which is passed actually from register controller we will get ex valid data for register and also we if we go to log login request we will actually create new request it would be for register request right so let's create request register request and copy it and paste it here and also for register what we will use and we will use actually also the name email and password right so for name it's uh, it would be there would be name name definitely re record and it's string and let's give maximum 50 and password mean six and definitely we'll use confirmed that means someone must have to give com confirmed password and for actually as uh, we are using this kind of uh, authorization this method so you can actually pass array for here but it's not necessary so register request and in the register controller instead of login request we use this register request so remove this okay so and instead of request all or would not actually get all we'll just get specific request value so it's it would be like user created successfully user registered successfully so that's it other things can be handled in this register right so if we go to register so then we will actually register user based on the, the data right so we can actually uh, make the data like prepare data for register so we're just preparing the registered data it's actually written an array what it what it would be returned like name and in here we also pass an array of data okay so and in the data what we got for name like this name okay and just copy this thing for right now okay for but for password we will actually give a hash make of password and definitely well, we have actually already imported this hash so it's actually this data is necessary for this and definitely it's an array so make the return type array okay and one thing maybe we have missed if we go to register what is we have missed actually uh, unique unique users right we definitely know the same email could not be duplicated right so we must have to handle that and if we go to our register auth repository again let's finish this so if we go to our register and the register so user would be like user 
create this prepare data for register and the data is right okay so it, it would be an array so in create we definitely we must have to pass an array okay so if there is a user if the user is properly created so we will handle it so something and otherwise we will show an another error and for register and for login we will not actually make different type of things we will actually create same type of things like if a user does not create a sorry user user does not user does not register user doesn't register please try again you can say like please try again so actually if something something come here that means we don't know exactly the errors and we don't want to show user, user the error what the error is right and definitely it's not 505 or from 5 it's not 404 it would be 500 error so that's it so, and for that and if nothing breaks if everything's perfectly user created successfully then it would come here and get a token instance and then return a all data with an all data perfect and if we go to register controller it's actually as it is no problem so let's just go to ap.php and finish it so it would be register controller and it would be register that's it so let's try it in our so let's just duplicate this right click here and just duplicate it and login copy let's rename it also like register okay so instead of login it would be register right save it and in, in the body we, we have passed also only this let's just add also the name name like john name is not necessary important name is not unique so it could be anything but we have all let's see first invalid data like we have already given this email right so if we hit again what you'd see yep the email has already been taken and the password confirmation doesn't exist okay so for register what we have to give we have to give name email and email must have to be unique as we have uh, added that in validation rules and also for password we have to give two things like password and password confirmation confirmation because it's necessary for registration okay so both is same let's just uh, let's just give an invalid thing like uh, password is seven one two three four five seven and it's up to eight so let's just hit enter and let's see okay password confirmation doesn't match perfect and if we give another email like valid email like john to it's a valid email right so if we hit now now it's only your the password confirmation doesn't exist perfect and if our any uh, any of the field doesn't exist it's like name doesn't exist we'll see also the name field is required perfect and let's give some valid data like i'm giving my name my info and and let's pass to wait and submit it let's see seven eight password oh sorry i have um spelled it send it again oh, wow perfectly so user registered successfully then we have got the user data and also access token token type and expire set perfect it's awesome so our registration api is done next is when a user is registered so we need uh, who, who is actually registered that means uh, it's something like uh, me me profile something like that that means if we go to api and if someone actually tries in an api is like you want to get his profile like me he can write me or profile or something like that profile and definitely it could be uh, profile controller profile controller and and it could be get profile or show okay okay so let's create a profile controller and for the profile controller we'll just use this register controller control c control v and just change it name to profile controller right profile controller perfect and instead of register or just if it would be show and there is there there be no request here it's not necessary and one thing is important so someone cannot get his data if he is not authenticated like uh, like if he is not authenticated he does he doesn't need to get his profile data right so we'll push it in here in inside of auth api so profile controller and then show 
it would be like that and let's intro in, import this profile controller okay so let's go to the show method so how we can get the logged in user how we can get that so like we have to be create a new route let's just duplicate this so we have duplicated it let's so rename it like get uh locked user profile okay so logged user profile and definitely it would it would not be post it would be get and also there would not be any body for this okay what we have actually passed we have we would pass just that token here right so and also it's not necessary to store token for every time like for this let's just change our token value in here edit it and update here also here and then save it okay so we have updated the token and for getting logged in user we go to headers and add the authorization authorization and definitely it will be like uh, bearer and then so oops to pass the variable name access to perfect so and it would be like uh, api slash profile so if we hit here now what you would see would actually it doesn't finish our route yet so maybe you could see some some kind of errors but let's go there and let's just pass a dummy data like return mtra okay so instead of this error let's just get this so get so look we have we have gotten gotten unauthenticated access no what we have missed we have actually doesn't select this authorization that's just the just the problem now send it look we have got the data but if we don't pass authorization then we will not we would not be able to get the data that's perfect so now how we can actually get profile data based on this token so we have passed actually token so we have to identify what the token is and we have to get the data from for this token so there is a way so that we can get this data we can get the authenticated user data from here like auth inside of auth there is a guard so let's import this auth facade guard and for inside of that we have actually the user okay so we user so let's see how it works so we have got the user data perfectly like if we give if we hit the profile we, we would successfully get the data so this this data is for logged in user so if somehow then some data is lost so that we can get the user from this token right so next what we have to add we have to um, add actually the logout api okay okay so let's log out this so where would we would store our logout controller so we can store logout controller to our profile actually it's actually log out log out our profile so when we can also log out we they must have to log out we must have to be logged in right so definitely we can pass this in this profile right so without a logged in someone cannot make just a logout request it's not possible so you must have to be logged in logged logged in so profile controller and then just log out okay perfect and go to profile controller so in here what you do auth guard and it's actually, it's actually very simple auth guard and just log out so then it would be logged out successfully and also we we'll just uh, would not do any Thing, anything like that we'll just return a response success like this return this response response success right and here will be the data data that is actually for response success there is not necessary to pass any data actually rather it's important like user is logged out user logged out so let's test our logout route so logout route is also a post request so just uh, may copy this duplicate this login route and just rename it rename it like logout and then change its uh, post type and also api slash logout and also other here the hell is actually there is no body type also there is access token if we pass without access token let's see if, any, if we face any problem yes unauthenticated access perfect but if we pass with authorization so then what let's see uh logout does not exist okay so this does not exist on this 
a guard instance okay so if we come to pass level passport documentation we would see that uh, revoking to revoking tokens refreshing tokens actually these are the things so let's click on revoking tokens if we click on revoking tokens so we can use like a token repository then revoke access token there are also some other kinds let's see okay so there is some good uh, documentation in actual laracast we can use this uh, one liner actually uh, user token and then revoke also delete so just do all of the things here okay so um, so what would be our user user would be auth guard auth guard user so instead of request let's just auth guard so it it would be maybe it would be auth user auth guard user could be and token and then revoke and then delete so let's see so user logged out successfully perfect and let's see if we can get the data again or not because we have already logged out so it shouldn't get the data using this access token right because it, this access token is invalid right it should be unauthenticated access perfect so it's unauthenticated access so our logout is success, successfully done and what it actually do it's it's for it's mainly revoke the access token and and this delete is actually delete the token from the database so it's more safer from my uh, and as our api response is like if we hover over this it's like json response so our method return type would be json response right so let's add this json response so also for show for every every other parse our response would be like this also for register also for login and also for register or it. okay let's try again by login if it's if any issues are not perfect logged in let's save the ap okay no problem thank you for watching this tutorial and in our next tutorial we will implement this this every apis which has been done using postman we will yeah use this all authorization authentication apis in swagger so let's wait for that bye bye